Hey, it's Jay. Uh, this is the SST2200. We're going to show you the program operating. First, we're going to uh, show you we're accepting the uh, uh, piston is going to go up at segment 2 and end at segment 5. I'm sorry, it starts off up and then it drops and then it uh, goes back up again. So, um, we accept this, and now we're going to run the file. You can see our vacuum level pumping down over here. I set it for 400 millitour with a 5 second delay. Now the high vacuum valve is opening which is the uh, gate valve. Uh, right now you can see the boat is, call is warm and it's calling for heat. This is a blow up of the temperature of, um, this is um, the, um, requested temperature and the actual temperature the thermocouple uh, for actual temperature is shown in red and the white is right on top of it that's why you can't see them both because they're right on so now I'm going to close this and I'll show you our process temperature this is the one controlling it's here and it's up here the other probe uh, is slightly behind because it's not inserted in the boat, it's just underneath the boat. The other probe temperatures uh, are, they're just displayed as, at, as uh, uh, room temperature because they're not in the chamber. Uh, if you wanted them in the chamber, you could do that later. You have to put in a different uh, feed through. Um, so right now we're running we're at 135 millitor. It's going to keep dropping because we're pumping with the two mechanical pumps. Um, once we reach 275 degrees, based on this chart that I will email you, um, the lift is going to go up the, um, we call it a ram here in this diagram here. And it pops up and, um, uh, I'm sorry, it starts in the up position and, it, and then it drops right at 275. So we're ramping up to 100 and uh, I'm sorry, 275 degrees. Uh, you don't have to program any uh, ramp time in it. It's done automatically by the program. You just um, tell it how much time to get to any uh, temperature and it automatically ramps to that in the amount of time that you give it. So we're still in segment one and we're waiting to reach 275 degrees. Then we're going to soak at 275 degrees for um, about four minutes. Then we'll ramp up to 420. Every time you want to get the data uh, from the particular batches that you've run during the day, you insert a thumb drive like this one. Two gigabyte is the maximum size. You can't buy them at uh, the store anymore. You have to buy them uh, on eBay. They're about three or four dollars each. 
Uh, make sure you get the two gigabyte one. I'll, I'll send you a link for the source that I use. Um, you just insert this um, inside the um, side of the socket on the on the system and it automatically downloads the information. That's how we get these graphs with the um, all the data and the status of all the valves. Okay, we're approaching 275. Now, if you just heard that uh, valve opening, it was the pneumatic movement of the lift. It just dropped down at 275 like we asked it to, and now we're in segment two. Now we're going to soak for 275, uh, at 275 degrees for about four minutes. Over here you can see the process time, it's counting down from four minutes. This is our total time over here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but this is our total time here uh, in this, and this is our uh, process time. Here I can show you the um, graph and how to use it. Um, if you uh, want to change any of these values, you just touch them and they'll light up and you can enter in from a keypad the uh, new value you want. You can set the temperature of the uh, y-axis and you can also set the uh, x-axis um, time. Right now we have 1500 uh, seconds as our base and you just press this button to close it. Uh, one other point, um, if you want to save a file, um, they're automatically saved, but it'll also save this chart. This chart only gets saved if you press on the file name, then you press enter when a menu pops up, uh, and then you press enter and it saves it. Um, that's in the manual. The only purpose is if you want to filter out uh, runs that um, were successful from ones you might have aborted or whatever and you don't want them to be in your database. So I have a filter in the, um, the system that will filter out those, um, those files. So back over here, now we're going to be ramping up to 420 C once we count down uh, to the end of segment two. Okay, so now we're going to ramp to 420 C in one minute. You can see our temperature increasing.
Uh, here's a better look at the graph. I just noticed the um, camera was uh, not showing it that well. But here's the uh, blown up version of the graph. You can see the temperature following. When, um, when we shut the heat off, we're going to tell the system to go to 25 degrees C immediately. You can see the white going down and the boat can't cool off that fast so you'll see the red follow it with uh, uh, a curved um, cooling You can see our temperature coming down. At this point, not a lot happens between, um, according to your uh, request from this uh, paper here, um, the um, vacuum remains on and the heater remains off for about 10 minutes. And then the um, lift uh, goes up again after 10 minutes. Um, I'll make um, some other videos after this, um, but I don't want to change anything while we're running. Uh, not much happens here, so if you want to fast forward like five or six minutes to the next point, uh, that won't change anything.
Okay, you can see our temperature um, has come down. We're at 148 degrees. We're ending segment five. As segment five ends, we're going to um, close the high gate, uh, the gate valve, the high vacuum valve, and the, um, the gas goes on and the uh, lift goes back up inside. That's all been done in that moment of time. If you want delays in between any of that, we can do that. Um, we put on the gas and then um, we're waiting uh, another minute to uh, exhaust the chamber. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, I was going to show you also, um, well, I'll show you that in the next video. So the program is complete.